Hey, what up everybody, it's Senny, and this is Gems of War on PS4. And today I'm going to be showing you part three of Delves, how to do Delves. Um, in part one, I showed you how to farm the Warrens. You just go in here and you keep it at level 20 and you keep going through it over and over and over. I don't want to click on it because I'll use my uh, scroll. Um, but uh, yeah, go through the Warrens over and over so you can get uh, Chaos Shards and uh, open portals to get troops and treasure to upgrade your horde, which was part two. In part two, I showed you how to upgrade your horde. And you want all your hordes to be at quality 10, so you can get the best treasures every time, especially the warrens you want at quality 10. After you get the warrens to quality 10, you want to get everything else to quality 10. Every horde, I got all mine to quality 10, ex maybe except for one that just came through. Not nah, even that I got to 10, like Sea of Sorrow, all quality 10 as you can see over here. Make sure to get them all to quality 10 and try to get them to at least level 100. So every time you level them up you get more stats. So you can go further and further into all of the factions. So the more, the higher level your horde is, the higher level your stats are. 26 attack, 13 magic, 52 life, 52 armor. My quality is at 10 so I get times 4 gold, times 2 souls, times 2 glory, times 2 ingots, and plus 3 delve chest level. Which is the most important part. For when you finish a delve, you get uh, way more treasure. Uh, especially when you're farming the warrens. You go through every single room that raises up your chest level. And then you will get a plus 3 or f I think at the end. Yeah, plus three delve chest level at the end after going through every single room and trying to raise it to seven or eight. So you get the highest level, which is ten, and then get the best reward. So yeah, part one of my delves series was farming the Warrens. Now, disclaimer, I don't know that the Warrens is still the best faction to farm anymore. There's been a couple new factions coming out, like Silver Necropolis and Sunken Fleet. And I've heard that those, one of those two is pretty good for farming, uh, but the Warrens is still like top two, top three. So if you're still doing the Warrens, you might, it's it's not a bad thing. You can you can keep using the Warrens. It's probably the second best, if not the first, still. So no big deal. My part one still works out. Um, then part two, I showed you how to upgrade your horde level and your quality qualities for more treasure more um you know resources so you can get more chaos shards to open more portals to get more troops and more treasure to level up your horde to get more stats uh so when it gets harder and harder and harder you um you know it's not as hard for you to uh beat it and then as far as faction goes you get faction uh renown and you get rewards for renown so i'm getting you know ingots for all of these renown uh, points, uh, breakpoints here. So every time I get, so next time when I get 1600 renown, I'm gonna have five legendary ingots I'm gonna get. And then the total renown rewards, you can get plus one armor to every, you know, team and every stat, every, you know, throughout the whole game, uh, plus income per, per day. Um, you can get a pet eventually, I think on, you know, the individual faction rewards. So Renown is the next thing you kind of go for after farming and upgrading your quality um, uh, level and horde level, quality and uh, horde level. So after you do that, next thing you're going to go for is Renown to get all these stats and ingots and gold and pets and all that stuff. So the way you get Faction Renown is for the best Delve defeated in each faction you get a certain amount of points and that gives you renown best delve with no casualties so you know the best delve where you get through the you make it through the whole level without losing any troops that gives you points as well towards renown uh, best delve using the factions team that's pure faction so you're gonna have to use hall of guardians troops in every single slot you can't use your um, hero or anything. You have to use Hall of Guardians troops. And that's really where your stats are going to come in because pure faction is one of the hardest things to do in the game. 
Uh, that's why I don't have very many points in it. Uh, I've only done 150 uh, best of using this faction's team. And then your treasure horde level. That's what I was talking about last time. You can get uh, some renown for just leveling up your treasure horde level. So that's probably the first one you're going to do. And then you're going to start clearing out uh, everything but the warrens and getting more faction uh, rewards and renown for just clearing through the levels uh, and then we'll talk about pure faction probably in the next video because that's the hardest thing but in this one I'm just gonna show you my Hall of Guardians team uh, for high level uh, and how to clear a high level delve well uh, relatively high I'm only on a uh, level 320 which is pretty hard you know um, it's not as hard as 500 or anything but uh, 320 is pretty high, so I'll show you my team here and how to clear this, and this gives you renown. Uh, if you do this, once you're done farming the Warrens, which you're never really done doing that uh, until you're like completely done with Delves, but when you decide, hey, I've got enough Horde level, I've got enough Horde quality, I've got enough Chaos Shards, I've got enough troops, I'm ready to try to proceed in one of the factions to get more renown by clearing out some high levels. So that's what I'm going to do here in the Hall of Guardians. Um, I've got Mountain Crusher with Titan, Cockatrice, High King Iron Gut, and Silva Namora. So this is my Hall of Guardians team for going high level in the Hall of Guardians to get renown. Um, when I'm not farming the Warrens, I'm doing this. I'm clearing this out to get higher and higher and renowned for Hall of Guardians and for total renown which gives you a lot of ingots and uh, gold um, and stats eventually and pets so you know delve pets faction pets um, but yeah so Mountain Crusher with Titan so to keep yourself barriered um, and to explode and gain mana uh, Cockatrice is a defensive troop. He's going to entangle an enemy and drain their mana and create those brown gems that we need. Um, so, you know, drain a dangerous troop on their team, entangle, entangle them so they can't do skull damage if they're in first slot, and uh, create brown gems. Everybody on our team uses brown. High King Irgut is the main troop on this team, and I'm sorry that he's a mythic, but we're talking about high level delves here, so save up your diamonds, go get High King Irongut, watch my video, the top five troops to get in the Soul Forge. He is number three, spoilers, but he is number three. Um, very important troop to have. He is going to deal 37 damage to an enemy with a chance to devour them equal to my attack. Gain an extra turn. And with delves, you get uh, a bunch of attack and that's how it works so he already has 61 attack so he has a 61 percent chance to devour and the higher your stats get in this delve uh, for doing your horde level um, the higher chance he'll have to devour and if he devours uh, the higher you go into this delve the uh, enemies are gonna have really high stats so if he devours one of those enemies with really high stats, and he has more than a 50-50% chance to do it right here, 50-50 chance, um, and it'll get higher and higher and higher. If he devours one of those uh, enemies with really high stats, he's going to get super high stats, and he's going to have a 100% chance to devour after that. So all he has to do is devour one troop on the other side and then he has a hundred percent chance to devour the rest of them unless they have the um the trait that you know they can't be devoured then you just got to take them out you know slowly but they'll hopefully be the only one left silva namora split a column deal 35 damage to all enemies here for uh dragon vines a tangle the first enemy on four or five gym matches that's so you don't get crushed by skulls, you know, even though you have barrier up and you got cockatrice entangling and everything. Um, if, you, if they hit you with a ton of skulls in a row, they got a ton of attack, they're going to just wipe your team. So we need a lot of entangle, a lot of barrier. Uh, this is high level stuff here. Alrighty, so what we're going to want is some brown, brown mana, unless there's something beautiful to go for here. As far as a cascade, don't really see anything, so I'm gonna take this brown so we can get our mountain crusher up so we can uh, explode some gems and get some mana for the rest of our troops. Hopefully, get a devour for our um, high king iron gut. Look at these stats over here for this team 91 attack, um, 46 magic, 50 splash damage. 
Uh, you know, gargoyles are pretty tough. You want to devour them first if possible because they're the ones that are going to kill you if you get killed. All right, let's explode this board up with our mountain crusher now. Even though there's only six, you know, see, we got we got some good mana there. It's all good. Um, we got a uh, cockatrice, and we have mountain crusher. So do we need to drain anybody? No, we don't. They only have three mana over there at the most. We don't really want to drain anybody with cockatrice yet. And he's already entangled, the one with the three mana, so that would not make sense. Let's go ahead and use mountain crusher again. Try to get high king iron gut up. Alright, we got them. So this is uh, hopefully the beginning of the end for them. As long as we get this devour, we should be good. Uh, we got some skulls here. But we do... He is He's entangled, so we'll let them have the skulls. We'll go for our devour. And we're not going to devour the first gargoyle, okay? Because he doesn't have any attack right now. So if we devour him, we aren't going to get more attack. So we're not going to have a higher chance to devour later. So we're going to go ahead and go after the second gargoyle. That way when we devour him, we will gain more attack. And all his other stats. But what we're really looking for is the attack. So we can uh, have a 100% chance to devour next time. Boom, we got it. 61% chance went off. Now look at our uh, High King Iron Gut here. 152 attack. That means 152% chance to devour. So we just have to get his mana up. The enemy has to have... Uh, you know, has to be able to be devoured, and uh, pretty much game over for them. So, what do we want to do here? Let's go ahead and explode the board again with our Mountain Crusher. Uh, just, we're trying to get a High King Iron Gut up. That's all we really need. Boom, got a bunch of extra turns, brown and whatnot. Um, but we don't need to drain them. Uh, we could do Sil Silva Namora for some fun, just to deal some damage and explode a column. Uh... Because we only need one mana for our High King Iron Gut, so we might as well. Let's hit all these skulls, too, just for uh, some extra damage. Alright, and we got High King Iron Gut. We already have a 152% chance to devour, so it doesn't matter now if they don't have attack. It only matters when you're going for 100, 100 attack still. So we're going to go ahead and devour this uh, first gargoyle because he's the most dangerous on the team even though he's all hemmed up right now. Uh, he's probably the only one that could kill us so let's go ahead and go for him. Got both gargoyles out of the way. Uh, let's go ahead and explode a bunch of brown again with our mountain crusher. Bam. Look at all that. We already got our high king iron gut up again. Let's go ahead and do it. I don't even care if there's an extra turn on the board. Let's grab this guy because he's closest to being full mana devoured just like that um let's do uh mountain crusher because we need a bunch for a uh, high king iron gut Alrighty, i'll have to show you my banner after this fight too I, I forgot about that um let's see here let's just do another uh mountain crusher keep doing it till you get your uh high king iron gut up and then just devour it's that easy this is level 320 or something it's the first battle so uh, not a huge deal but we got through it pretty easily all right so when we're doing the warrens and we're farming we're gonna go through every single room okay because we want to get the highest chest level to get the most resources the most treasure the most chaos shards the most everything the most gold whatever in this instance, when we're just trying to get through high levels and uh, complete it without dying, you know, get the most renown we can and just progress to the next level to get more renown, you just want to go straight through the middle. Don't worry about all these rooms up here. We're not going to do any of these rooms at all. We're just going to head straight through the middle and get to the boss. Let's go ahead and do the second fight. Uh, I forgot to do my banner. Let's just, hopefully I remember before the final battle here. Um, alrighty. So, we want to get either Mountain Crusher up or High King Iron Gut. We got this big extra turn. Probably should have took that red first, but no big deal. We got this brown here. This brown extra turn. Alright, we got Mountain Crusher up, and we have this blue extra turn right here. It's going to give us brown too up there. We already have our High King Iron Gut, so let's go for somebody. Let's go ahead and get this green extra turn before we do this. 
Now we got everybody up on our on our team. We got another extra turn right here. That gives you know another entangle. Every time you match uh, four or five with the uh, dragon vines, uh, entangle the first enemy, which he was already entangled, so I guess that don't matter. But it's a little extra entangling for him. Uh, anyway, so now we're gonna want to get some devour going. Let's make sure none of these have. Um, they're not immune to devour over here. Uh, poison, disease, and death mark. Just check their traits. Make sure none of them are immune to devour. It looks like none of them are. So we're going to go ahead and the biggest threat. All uh, gems of a chosen color to skulls. 27 true damage. See, I'm going to get rid of Keeper of Souls because all those skulls, we don't want a bunch of skulls like doing a big old bunch of skulls in a row on our first troop and killing us. So let's try to devour Keeper of Souls first. Wow, got it again, right on the first... We got 211 attacks, so 211% chance to devour now. Uh, it goes based off his attack. Uh, you know, devour them equal to my attack. A chance to devour equal to my attack. Now we have a 211 chance to devour. So let's go ahead and get him back up. That's all we need to do. Mountain Crusher. Mountain Crusher with Titan. Got that uh, barrier on just to make sure... Uh, their first troop is entangled, just to make sure. Uh, we got, um, you know, Sylvan Amora getting uh, entangled on the first troop every time we take an extra turn. And, um, wow, just uh, extra turns all over the place here. And we will do High King Iron Gut again after I get rid of all these extra turns that I don't need. Um, all right, let's just go with this. Um, High King Iron Gut, and we will take down, let's go ahead and get this guy out of the way here, leave up the entangled guy, since he's so, uh, hemmed up right now, we might as well leave him there, uh, entangled and shit, so, um, let's go ahead and explode again, let's go with, uh, Mount Crusher, um, let's do Silva. Wait, let's see if we got an extra turn. We got blue. We got brown. Um. Okay. Let's do Mountain Crusher again. We got him. Okay. Uh, and we got High King Iron Gut with a 361% chance. So let's go ahead and get the troll out of here. Now they just have a wraith that is entangled. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit them with skulls. Maybe we can get them out of here quickly. Uh, brown extra turn. Some more skulls. Um, let's do mountain crusher. Oh, we got a red extra turn here. Uh, might as well keep them entangled. Mountain crusher. Um, we got Silva Namora. If there's no extra turns, we got some more skulls. Let's just do Silva Namora with all these skulls. Now we got our, um, High King Iron Gut. That's all you really need. You really don't need to screw around like I was just screwing around. You really just need the High King Iron Gut. Bam. Done with that. Another one down. All right, let's check that banner now that I have a chance. Here we are. We're straight straight through to the boss here. Um, what is the banner? It's the Kraken banner. So brown, blue, minus purple, I think, something like that. So we're getting two plus two brown plus blue for High King Iron Gut. And then minus purple because we don't use purple. So the Kraken banner is what we're using here. All right, let's beat this last thing. And then I'll show you the faction we get and the treasure and all that. All right, we got a brown extra turn. Now we have our mountain crusher up already. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. All right, we got him up again. Another mountain crusher. If there's nothing else here, I don't see anything. So let's do another one. Got a cockatrice. Got our high king iron gut. And I don't see any extra turns. Up oh, there's one. That'll keep them entangled in that first slot over there. Everybody is up that can be on our side. And let's try to devour. We're going to try to devour this gargoyle, the most dangerous on their team. 
got it every single time in this video that's beautiful 61 percent chance starting out and i got it every single time pretty good uh cockatrice uh nobody to drain so don't want to do that let's just do these skulls even though it silences us every time we do skulls because that's one of this this guy's traits here flick silence when enemies deal skull damage to me so just be wary of that sometimes that's annoying take some brown get a more, bunch of brown on the board um, take this brown which will also give us green up top all right we don't have our mountain crusher because we keep getting silenced we can go ahead and drain them again with cockatrice and there's 14 brown already on the board he's going to create six brown gems boosted by mana drained so there's an extra turn with brown right there that's what, how you should use cockatrice and we have hiking our gut with 232 percent chance so let's go ahead and get rid of this and eh, let's go ahead and let's get rid of this guy we got him all entangled and crap even though he's annoying with his silence let's just go ahead and get rid of this guy um, we have Sylvan Namora, so might as well use it. Let's go ahead and do that. Explodes and does some damage, even though it's mostly there just for its entangle. Um, we can take these skulls and get yellow mana, so let's do that. We got Cockatrice up again. Um, but let's go ahead and take this brown if there's nothing else. We got our Hiking Argut, and let's devour the last troop all right one more to go um let's take i guess the yellow let's take the blue um let's take the brown right okay we got mountain crusher finally this will give us a uh, hiking iron gut and that's the match bang all done straight through the middle level 320 all kinds of faction level six treasure chest even though we only went through three rooms it's because our horde quality is at 10. all right so for this we get six mythic ingots 104 glory 20,000 gold 3,000 souls, 30 Hall of Guardian Renown. So I can do this three times a day, get like almost 100 Renown a day, probably. At least 90. Um, and that's how you level up uh, your your um, your faction. So I would go to level 330 next, beat that, and uh, just keep going. Uh, I guess I already had one loaded in because I still have three sigils right now. I must have had one loaded in already. But yeah, so now if we go to faction info, I have more faction renown in this uh, in this faction. So we're we're gonna we're going up steadily. I'm at 1,610 right now. Keep going up. Uh, next, I'll get five legendary ingots. Uh, probably after you know I finish this day, I'll be getting five legendary ingots. Um, then we'll get four mythic ingots, 15 mythic ingots, and I'm almost to the tiny dancer pet at 2000 renown and this all counts towards your total renown rewards which will give you um you know you see over here my total renown i have 8745 from 10 factions and i get 260 income per day extra six random ingots per day i get plus one health plus one armor to every team every troop i use everywhere um and it shows me what i can get uh coming up here i can get uh, plus 10 more income a day I can get plus one more random ingot per day and I can get plus one life I get to 12,000 so that is what you do that is what you do that is part three of the delve um, series that I'm doing first one I showed you how to farm the warren second one, second one I showed you about upgrading your uh, horde quality and all that and your horde level and in this one I talked a little bit about what faction renown is and what it does and I showed you my Hall of Guardians team so you can start using those um, you know chaos shards and uh, those that horde level and horde quality you can start using all that to progress your factions and get more renown this is how you get ingots a couple people asked me how you get ingots how you get more ingots in the game mostly has to do with delves 
getting, getting further in the delves, farming delves. That's the most mostly how you get ingots to uh, upgrade your weapons and stuff is doing delves every day. Make sure you're either farming the warrants or you're progress progressing a high level, you know, one of these. Pick one. Doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be Hollow Guardians. Just wanted to show you a team just in case you, uh, you know, you didn't have one. Doesn't have to be Hollow Guardians. You can pick whatever. All Seeing Eye. I got that one pretty high as well. Uh, just pick one and just go run through it. Get a good team. Use my team. Pick one. You know, after you're you farm the warrens for a while and you get all your horde qualities to 10 you get all your horde levels to at least 100 pick a different faction and start running it up the levels you don't do it like the warrens you do it the opposite of the warrens you run through it as quickly as possible get higher and higher and higher and higher you don't keep it at 20 you go all the way to 500 if you can and that's how you get renowned that's how you get ingots that's how you get more stats pets gold all that um, Every day I log in, I get six ingots just for the amount of renown I have. So, yeah. The team is Mountain Crusher, Titan, Kraken Banner, Cockatrice, High King Iron Gut, Selva Namora. Entangle that first troop. Uh, barrier yourself. Explode the board. Use your stats from your horde. I get plus 26 attack, so on top of whatever High King Iron Gut starts out with, I get 26 more. That way his Devour is crazy. It's like over 50%. It's 60%. 60% chance to Devour. Just have to get that once, and then your your automatic Devour there on out. So that is my team for Hollow Guardians. That's a little bit of an explanation for Faction uh, Renown. And uh, that'll get you uh, going, you know, keep you going uh keep your delves progressing so just watch these three videos you learn how to farm you learn how to do your horde level and quality and now you know how to go higher and higher in at least the hall of guardians and you could probably transfer this idea to any other faction you really want to do just make sure you get a good team and uh if you can use high king iron gut make sure you use them you know whatever the color restriction is uh for hall of guardians um Let's just go ahead and do this so I can check it out. Uh, what is the restriction? It is yellow and brown. So as long as you can, you know, use yellow or brown in the other factions, then you can use High King Iron Gut and use the same principle to beat those uh, factions out as well. So hopefully I helped you guys. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And do me a favor. Um... Go over to my buddy, uh, Pro Survivor 1234's channel. Subscribe to him too, as a favor to me. He's on my featured channels. Uh, probably one of my best uh, friends as far as having a channel and whatnot. So make sure you subscribe to him if you can, please. And, you know, I got a Twitter. It's up in my banner if you want to click on that as well. You know, I don't really get on there too much but you know you can get a little bit more information a little bit sooner and it shows when the videos go up and all that and i just do random thoughts you know don't have to do with the channel sometimes you know so yeah pro survivor 1234 my featured channels my twitter is up in my banner just click on it uh like share subscribe let's get to a thousand we're almost two-thirds of the way there and uh i'll see y'all next time hope this helped